I knew a choice had to be made. Two men vying for my attention, both wanting me for different reasons. You look good, Sandy. Really good. You must be wanting some money. Peter was nothing if not direct. He had money, and he wasn't afraid to spend it on me. An admirable quality, if there ever was one. Sure, Peter. I could always use some dough. You're a cold woman, Sandy. Sometimes I think my money is the only reason you're with me. <laughs> you had enough of that. You don't want to lose that figure. His money was the only reason I was with him. He had it. I wanted it. The bright side is, he was old, drank too much, ate too much, smoked too much, so I figured I wouldn't have to put up with him too much longer. Maybe. But you're only with me because I'm pretty. You do good work. Does he pay you enough? He pays me fair. Not sure if you get enough for what you have to do. Stop selling yourself short. Money doesn't do anything if you're miserable. I can always tell when you come near me. It's like I can feel your aura in my core. Is that what you feel, Darren? My aura? Maybe I want you to feel something else. Now, now, Sandy. You know I can allow that. Unless you marry me. It wouldn't feel right otherwise. What if I want to be wrong? What if I need to be wrong? Then come with me to church on Sunday. See how it feels to be right. Darren was a good man. Maybe too good. Or maybe I was too bad. Either way, I could never quite be satisfied. You make up your mind, Dad? I did. What are you gonna do? What I have to do to be happy. I have to be with the one who loves me for me. Sandy's gone. So is Mia. Looks like she made a choice. Now we're both alone. I didn't like the thought of being alone, but with Sandy gone, what choice did I have? And then I looked at Darren. Truly looked at Darren. And I wondered. Peter! You can't do that. Unless you marry me first. It wouldn't feel right otherwise. 